So, I'm John Line, guys. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. This is chapter 9. And when we last left off, we were here in, um... Wish I knew the name off top. Uh, Dekinawida? Dekinawada? 100% on the pronunciation of that. But in any case, we still have some things to do here. I want to collect three more chests, two collectibles, and get the viewpoint. So, yeah, we're gonna chill hang around here for a little bit longer until I get all that done and then we're gonna progress on after that I mean obviously <laughs> should be able to explore this whole island in this recording session not just where I'm at right now but like the other side of the island and yeah. everything <laughs> That was uh, such a weird jump. The one thing I will say so far is I notice I'm getting like inconsistent movement patterns. Like you have to really be uh, pretty accurate yeah. with uh, your movement. It's not really the best way to put it. It kind of auto assists you. So when you're moving and if you go for a jump, nine times out of ten it will guide you to the closest platform to land on or grab. Uh, thing to grab, but uh, for some reason there's no auto assist, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's uh, a huge change for me coming from Unity, especially. Because Unity was super uh, user friendly where it wouldn't let you just jump off anything. If I just got away with that. And I need that fox. I think I need, what, two? Two foxes. Two arctic foxes. Yeah. For a pistol ammo pouch, two. So when I do go back to North America, I can grab a second um, Arctic Fox, or two Arctic Foxes, rather. That was not even close to what I wanted from that, by the way. I was trying to climb up that tree. Because I feel like you definitely can. I have to learn how to neutral again and not try to go for movements based off of my uh, free run button and analog position. <laughs> That's why I'm ending up in these precarious positions. At least where this viewpoint is, it's really close to the spawn for these foxes. You can always just fast travel here. It's everything. Yeah, now I want to collect those, and then I'm going to hug around the coast, grab that, head up here to the fort, grab whatever I can from the fort right now. Mont Saint Denis, <clears throat> uh, Valle Vert, Lock Cliff, and then Twin Snake Path. First, I have to get back to the, the ship. I think I'm supposed to be able to press... Nope. Okay. There is no way I would hit that. This auto-aim is so off. I should take it off, because really it's throwing me off. I have 
the two fox pelts I need, so. I was like, where's my boat going? That's not my boat, that's my boat. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There might still be another recording session until we get back. Well, probably a couple recording sessions until we get back to some story. But we'll get there. You know how it goes with Assassin's Creed. Uh, 2800. I don't think I can buy anything. I can actually look at it from here, though. Because I'm pretty low on wood now. If I get 5,000, uh... Currency. I think it's euros. 5,000 euros. Captain, Any case, I'll just kind of go on for now. Careful. It's quite a rough squall, Captain. Tops and gallants. Joust the mizzen tops. Fire off! Lift and ahead, sir! Captain overboard! Captain overboard! Alright. Grab this fragment and the chest, and then we can be on our way. Charted, one of 14. That's not too bad. And as for chests, how many do we got? One of 12. Again, not too bad. I was 100% waiting for that ship to just ram the back of my ship. It's gonna be like, really? Ship's gonna turn around and attack me in a second here. Let's get around this corner. Unless it turns around, that's perfectly okay with me. Should pick that up though. Forgot to check my maps too. There might actually be one close by. Right there. Alright. 
make a mental note of that. Put that in the back of my brain for now. <clears throat> Try to remember for later, but I can't guarantee that. <laughs> Apparently there's some goodies here, though. I literally thought they were all just standing along the like side of the ship. They're just staring at me. Like, uh, okay. It's not creepy at all. As if I'm 20 shots now, it's insane. Captain, 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 Captain. Captain. down from here. There we go. <clears throat> what do you be needing today then? What do you be selling, sir? I don't think there's anything I grab. Not yet anyways. Later then. Do 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 <clears throat> Should probably uh, maybe have one chest left over. If it's anything like that other uh, fort was. We'll see. Got everything I can grab here for now, so let's get on our way. Next stop, around the corner. At 5,000, I'll make the next purchase, which is the explosive rounds or whatever. And then we'll take a look. I literally watched that spawn in. We'll take a look and see. Uh... What was that? The back side of Lock Cliff. The backside of Lock Cliff. Oh, 
Look at all the stuff here. Oh, Saint Denis. Sneeze there. All right, let's uh get a crack a lacking. We'll make a beeline for that and kind of go from there, I guess. If there's anything in my way or anything leading up to it in my path, I'll grab it. That was some awkward movement, but okay. I just thought of something. I think I have like five extra rabbit pelts on me now because of that uh, hunting challenge. Pretty sure I kept all the pelts. Which isn't bad. I just didn't even think about that until now. Right one up ahead. And I have a detailed map of the area. Let's uh, double back for that stuff. I'll grab that. What am I hunting? More rabbits, I'm guessing. There's beavers down there. Allergies are acting up all of a sudden. 7 to 24 cave paintings, though. That's a quarter of the way there. It's not bad. All right. So, what's left here? A sea shanty, a hunting challenge, and a map. That's it. Not too bad. All in all. Hundred percent I have to run out for this probably that way. We'll see. Literally just zip by me this way. Might as well do the challenge now, because then I can fast travel back and out of here. Alright. What do you want? Hair pellets within the time limit. 1400 is my reward. Five pelts. So it's definitely a shorter time, but 
doesn't really change anything. I think I despawned. Oh no, I didn't. I think I despawned that one, but. That's some nice easy money, that's for sure. And ultimately it gets me more uh more pelts. Not that I really need a crap ton of those. But I can turn around and sell them, right? So Beaver. Don't mind me, I'm just minding my own business. What the hell was that? Thank you. Now that's boosty. It's in the North Atlantic. So I won't worry about it for now. Um... Yeah, I suppose I can go grab that real quick. And then we'll head down to uh, Valerie Vert. Stop right! I'm not stopping for nothing. Ooh, I should be able to take that rowboat back. Saves me running all the way over there, or even fast traveling. This is very nice. All right, so my next location then. I'm gonna say it's right there. Can I fast travel there? No, cross river, okay. Let me um, grab that upgrade though, and then I'll see my next. Boat upgrade. Kind of decide what I'm going to do from there. Let's get the front can coronades, sorry. any resources for anything that I actually need. So I guess I'll start actually... I oh, don't even have any tobacco. I'll start putting money into uh, upgrades for myself then. Better weapons and stuff. Until we amass uh, more resources, of course. Definitely need to find a uh, a place that has uh, a place that has a, a shop that I can use. Like, I know there is one in North Atlantic, but I'm not gonna just travel back. I'll find one here somewhere. Could be here actually. Alright. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it, but... These chests are super finicky, eh? You have to be basically in front of them. You can't be anywhere else. I mean, like, obviously, yeah, but... In 4, you could be, like, anywhere near the vicinity of a chest. Hit the button, and you'd instantly just be able to kind of... Have uh, Edward go and open it. This one, not so much. Yeah. To go way up there. It's another hunting challenge. What do you think they're gonna make me do? Foxes or gray wolves? Let's see if I can get up there. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> Who are we kidding? It's Assassin's Creed. There's always a way around something. Nine times out of ten, anyways. Don't mind me, I'm just going around the back. Prosperity in the trees ahead of me. Yeah. I have to remember I could neutral jump. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do it for this one too, actually. Oh no, I won't. Thought I did. Looked like I would. I thought it was up top for a second there, but then I quickly realized it wasn't. Let me down. Top of this next tower that has a guard in it, of course. It's not going to be too keen of me climbing this. I do need Grey Wolves, but I don't think I need them right now. Yep, two actually. I'm sure I'll encounter them too. I'm afraid to try to go by those guys, I know I'm going to aggro them instantly. We're gonna do that instead. Je n'aurais jamais cru dire ça à un parfait étranger, mais je vous dois la vie. I do need more crew, so take the time to do that. Here we go, our first fox. Jesus, Josh. First wolf. I swear I know my animals. Alright, all that's left is this, uh, challenge. Killing people is easy. Killing beasts? Not so much. What do you got in mind? Fox pelts and gray wolf pelts. I need two and two. Thing came out of nowhere quite literally. It's 
need a fox. <laughs> that sank into the ground. Right there. <clears throat> Easy. 